Hey, Zach. Hi. Um, great game today. Thank you. Great saves. Uh, Pablo said something about you watching hips. Uh, what are you looking for in a hip? And do you do it outside of the game? <laughs> Um, yeah, there's a lot of tells, but, uh, honestly, uh, in that moment, I just kind of was thinking, just save it. I don't know what I wasn't really thinking. Um, it's funny watching a lot of the PKs over the years. My wife is always like, just stay in the middle. And I was, I, so I give a lot of credit to her for that idea. Um, after missing the first one, I thought there was a good chance he might, you know, try to just make me dive. And, uh, thankfully I stood, stood tall. Zach, thank you for your time. Congrats on the win. Uh, the the last two penalties, including the the one in uh, in play tonight, um, you you saved. Unfortunately, off the rebound they were put in. Um, just guessing the right way on several penalties as well tonight. Where where does that confidence come from? And do you feel like it at right now at this point it's at an all time high? Yeah, I feel uh, well. The PK thing. Well, first of all, it's one of the worst rules in soccer that. You can save a PK, and the guy who saved the PK gets another free chance. Um, I wish that didn't belong, because I'd have a lot more saves and a lot less goals <laughs> against. Um, but yeah, I, I've you know I think the last few weeks, last few games, I've really found some new confidence, and just kind of been taking that into every training, uh, trying to instill that in the rest of the group, and you know give belief to the rest of the guys that we can you know make a run in this playoffs. You talked a little bit about the tells that some of the players have when they're taking their penalties. I also noticed before the penalties, you had maybe a little bit of a cheat sheet kind of looking over it. Um, how much time throughout th these last few weeks have you gone through tape of, of guys taking penalties? And how much uh, does kind of that cheat sheet play into helping you uh, save these penalties? Yeah, uh, our goalkeeper coach Nacho does a great job of uh, you know preparing a video just showing all of their PKs. Uh, I think Bossy had at least eight or nine this year, plus uh, <laughs> I think they went to a PK shootout in the League's Cup. So there, there's plenty of video, and obviously that doesn't do it all, but it just you know gives me a little bit of confidence on you know knowing where they might go and hopefully give me a little bit of an edge. Zach, given the fact that you did save that one in the first half, even though they score on the rebound then, but does that give you more confidence going into a situation where just saving one out of five can be a big deal? Yeah, I think it gave me a lot of confidence going into the shootout. Um, I just felt like I was standing a little bit taller, chest was a little bit more out, um, and I think they might have felt that a little bit. Um, and so, yeah, it certainly gave me a lot more confidence going into the shootout. Can you describe to those of us who've never been down that what it's like to be like the keeper in front of a home crowd and make that save and what that, what that feeling is like, what that noise is like inside a home stadium? Well, to be honest, I kind of went into a zone where I didn't really hear or see anything. Um, even after Diego scored, I, I don't even think I really celebrated because I was just so locked in. I, I didn't even realize that that was the winning PK. So um, I try to just go to a zone that you know gives me the best chance to, to help the team win, and that's kind of what I d did tonight. You faced Houston five times. This will be a sixth meeting now. Uh, do you feel like you're really locked in on what they want to do and how they want to do in a way you really can't be in most games? Yeah, I think uh, obviously we've got a really good idea of their game plan, but they've got a lot of really good players out there, a really good system, um, a lot of good guys on the ball that make it very difficult no matter you know, what you p game plan for. So I think it's more about um, being in tune with the whole game, uh, being locked in on you know, their different you know, bigger players. And I thought tonight we did a really good, do really good job of just you know, stopping a lot of their you know easy one twos that we didn't deal well well with in the first game uh first of all i want to know what your favorite scene from dirty dancing is and uh secondly more seriously on the game um diego said that um he kind of came up to you during during a time and said let's go to houston i'm curious just a little bit more about that exchange and and what kind of confidence you felt from him in that moment, considering everything that happened before in the, in the other PK um, scenarios? No one puts baby in the corner. <laughs> but um, no, uh, Diego said that to me afterwards. I didn't hear a word he said. I, like I said, I think I was just locked in. Um, I read a Twitter thread uh, after, I think, the Women's World Cup about the confidence of the goalkeeper giving the ball to the shooter and giving them encouragement, that last bit of positive encouragement. And I 
kind of brought that into tonight for the first time. And I was just trying to give him a, a vote of confidence. And not, clearly, he stepped up to the plate. And um, what do you think? It, I mean, you, you talked a little bit about sort of like tells and reading hips and things like that. But like over the course of your career and your development as a goalkeeper, what do you think it's been that has specifically helped you make penalty saves? That's that's like a pretty difficult thing. Not difficult, I shouldn't say. But, um, oh, very difficult. So, OK, so it's the a difficult, difficult thing for, for goalkeepers to do. Yeah, um, like I said, just having a little bit more confidence. Um, that that microsecond of patience, uh, especially with the way guys take penalties, um, the slow walk-ups, uh, waiting for the goalkeeper to move. And the, the longer that I can stay there, I think it puts a little bit of that extra doubt in their mind. And um, you know, hopefully, hopefully we don't have to go penalties again and we can win outright. But uh, yeah, I like to say that I feel comfortable in those situations. Zach, sixth game against Houston. It seems like every game this season has gotten progressively a little more physical, a little more chippy. Is this developing into uh, kind of a rivalry? How does that look? And what do you expect in the next game? Well, probably even more physical, to be honest. Um, yeah, no, like I said, they're, they're a very talented group, uh, not only with the ball, but they've got a lot of players who manage games, who've played in big games. Obviously, Hector, their leader, uh, does a great job of setting the tone for them. And uh, I think, he, obviously, them have got, winning the U.S. Open Cup uh, final was big for their confidence and showed them a way of how to play in, in big games. And you know we're, we're learning how to do that. And tonight was a good, good learning some for us. Any questions in the room in Spanish? Anyone on Zoom? Questions for Zach? All righty. Thank you. Thank you guys. Thanks, Zach. Appreciate it.